All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. And look what we have for you here today. We have Spider-Man No Way Home, this action figure that is a three-in-one as far as the red and black suit, the black and gold suit, and the Spider-Man Iron Spider integration suit. And it's really cool how these can be interchangeable. We've done something like this before with, I believe, the Venomized Spider-Man. So it was pretty cool. And I'm curious to see what this looks like. And especially because look how large this action figure is. It looks like 12 inch tall-ish. So I, if I had to just guess, and here's what this looks like. So you're not gonna wanna miss this. There's all three right there. And let's take a closer look ourselves. So guys, what do you say we get started? But you, before we get started, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time we have a new video come up. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where and uh, what you think of this action figure. And give us a big thumbs up if you like Spider-Man. If you're excited about Spider-Man No Way Home. And what do you say we go ahead and get started right now? What is up, Vincent GG? Vincent GG? Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. On Super Channel G. God, is this great! All right, friends, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. One more look at this packaging, which is absolutely beautiful, especially because of this artwork right here. Look at that. Beautiful artwork right there. And then look at this logo. Look at our Spider-Man suits right there. Red and black suit, black and gold suit, and the Spider-Man Iron Spider integration suit. Look at that. We obviously can just pop that on right there. Oops. And then this is more or less what it's going to look like once we've popped those accessories on. So let's see how it looks. And let's dive on in. And right here on the back, it does say, Spider-Man is forced to turn to new methods of stopping criminals in his neighborhood. Interesting how it says neighborhood and not like multiverse or something along that line. So let's get him on out. I don't even know if we have to like really destroy this package at all. So we can probably just cut him out real quick. And, okay, he's got ones right here on the ankles. And both ankles, yes. There we go. Pop him right out. And look at that. Let's see, okay. The head has a little texture to it. Look at that. So I'm digging the way that looks. It's a little bit of paint bleed on in there. The head moves back and forth slightly. It does turn all the way around. Let's see. The arms, they spin, but they do not come out. Same thing on the, on the elbow. Looks like they might be able to spin slightly. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it just looks like it. Looks like it could, but it doesn't. Check out the sculpt right there for the hands. Looks cool. Interesting how it looks like it. Uh, I guess more licorice than just straight up Twizzler because it looks like it twists around this way instead of lines this way. So, um, yep. Does not turn it the waist. Look at the cool Spider Man symbol right there. Logo. Look at that. And then the legs. I was like, do they turn right here? Nope, those are not joints either. There's no joints at the knees. Uh, I do like overall the sculpt. And the, the paint's a pretty good color. The red could be a little stronger. But overall, it's good. Like the sculpt, I just wish the joints would move. Okay, now let's cut everything out of this box right here. And we can start with these Iron Spider little legs right here we'll 
cut those out. Okay, Let's set that aside right there. Just open this up a little bit. Get our little projectiles out right there. You know what, maybe I should slide this out. Do I even have to? Ah, I do. Because there is like a rubber band or something else holding that. Same thing with this one. Okay, never mind. It was just those two holding that. There's nothing else in here. Cool spider logo in the back. Look at that, though. That looks awesome. Okay. So, what do you say we start off with the black and gold suit? Let's come closer here. Look at this. So he's got his eyes closed. Like, he's like, mmm. Like he's mad. Look at that. So I would think we can just pop this right on his head. Kind of from the back forward. And then this, for this black and gold suit, it's just a chest plate, so we can just pop it on right here. And interesting, because I guess really that's it. I thought it would do a little bit more. I guess not. I guess not. And you know what? I did miss on the top where it's got this beautiful artwork that's different on the top. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. Look how cool that looks. But as far as this one, I guess that's it. So that was simple. Get a quick picture. And that's that. So, not exactly the entire black and gold suit, but I guess you get the idea. Okay, so we'll slide this off like this. Take that off. And let's see. I'll have the... Let's get this out here. Oh, that's for Iron Spider. And let's get these out. So, I would definitely think these are for him to be able to shoot webs out. And these go right here on top. What does it seem like I can't? Just make sure it goes like this. Sure does. So why won't this go on? There we go. It's a little harder than I would have thought to click that on. We're just throwing that out there. Okay, set that aside. Let's bring this even higher, because it's tall. So let's see what kind of force this comes out with. See that? Not too shabby, look at this one. Coming out with a little bit of force, actually. We have four total projectiles. So let's see this one over here. Let's see if we can bring it over here. So it does launch maybe a couple feet out. I'll tell you what, oh. Launch it over here, which obviously you're not gonna be able to see. But is this gonna reach the wall? Let's see. Nah. So it did shoot for a decent amount and then went doosh. So it went maybe about three feet. But that's with it already curving down. So this still looks cool. Obviously, we already saw the black and the gold suit. Let's pry this off. And let's get to the main event. And the main event is. The Iron Spider Suit. And look, there's a shape right here where it's flat here and round the other one, so we can just put it like this. Like that. 
Um, we can put the chest plate on right here. That looks kind of cool. And then same thing here, we can probably start from the top, move it down. Now since there's not a huge amount of difference, don't know if that really makes that big of a difference and probably more of this should not be um, all that white. Looks like it should probably be just like the eyes of the red and black suit. So who knows if we even really need that to look like Iron Spider. Let's see. This is technically basically the same thing. So at least, at least as far as this action figure looks. So, nonetheless, I'll put it back on. And let's get these legs right here. So there should be different shapes. Just so you know. These are different sizes. And if you look right here. These are slightly different sizes and shapes. Look at that. This one looks more hexagonal and one's bigger than the other. So I would think this widest one obviously won't fit in these other ones, but will fit pretty well in that. Same thing here. Let's see. Let's assume it's that one for now. So, um, looks like I did something wrong here already. Um, hmm. Sorry, let me see. Give me a second. Okay, so that was simpler than I thought once I realized that the top ones actually do have to show this open face right here on the top. I was thinking it would close it off since it's in the top. That would have been a lot cooler, but nonetheless, that's what it is. So, these iron spider legs do have a single joint to move them back and forth. And then of course, um, see what they look like both ways, look at that. Um, it appears that they all do move also sideways look at that but there we go let's turn his head like that and that's kind of neat so guys what do you think what are your thoughts on this spider-man no way home three in one action figure is it cool have you seen it yourself at the store so guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these action figures. Well, this one and the three and one that it does. And yeah, check out more great videos like this on our YouTube channel. So guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. I'm Vincent Gigi, Super Channel G. Peace.